recording. Hello. Hey, Ryan, this is Jordan. Jordan, how are you doing? Good. Are uh, you still ready for our meeting? I am. I have about 15 minutes. It shouldn't take more than that. Okay. Um, I want to start off you know, thanking you for your time. I know you are busy, and I really appreciate you taking the time to sit with me. Mm -hmm. and just kind of talk about, you know, you. Um, so I remember you telling me at the graduation ceremony that, uh, you know, you moved around a You kind of gave me a little bit of an idea yeah. of your career. And what I want to mainly get out of this phone call is, you know, more of an in-depth look at your career. Because I am interested in your field of work. So I want to get Sounds in. Good. I want to get an in-depth, you know, look at your career, kind of things you've done well, things you wish you would have done, things you've still struggled with now, you know, okay. things about me. Okay. Well, Jordan, um, I started out as an intern for Dignity Memorial. Um, I never really thought this would be an industry that I would be working in. Um, you know, I, growing up, I always thought, you know, I'd be a big old sports agent. But, you know, I feel like, you know, when I did my internship over the summer, right before I graduated college, it was very, you know, I don't want to be cheesy, but it was amazing. I liked the people that I worked with, mm -hmm. and um, I liked, you know, the organization. It was a really good company culture that we have here, and, you know, I, I just, I kept with it. You know, you mentioned struggles, and yeah, I've had some struggles, but, I mean, I wouldn't, I would have... No other part in any other organization than this one. I would prefer my struggles to be in this company, in this industry, than in any other company in the world. Yeah, yeah I mean, kind of what you said about you never thought you'd be into it, this mm -hmm. kind of industry. Uh, when I was speaking with some of your other colleagues at the graduation ceremony, they kind of had the same thing. You know, they didn't think that this would be somewhere really far just because of, you know, what you sell. Mm -hmm. But, you know, after talking to them, I kind of realized this would be a good industry. That's why I'm interested. Yeah. So I guess, you know, what are some of the things you really feel like you did well that put you in the position you are today? Well, you know, I've always been a hard worker. Um, and my managers, you know, pinpointed me as somebody that was ready for excellence. Um, you know, some of the things I did, Jordan, were just keep on chugging. Uh, even though there were some struggles, just some sales here and there. Um, my sole purpose of being in this industry is to help people um, during a really challenging time in their lives. And so, what I, you know, what, what kept me inspired was, was, you know, that help that I provide, that service that I provide to families that, that you know, aren't in the best state of mind. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what kept me working hard. And, you know, I would say that my hard work has, has paid off. You know, I'm in this position and, and I love it. Um, and it's, it's become very fruitful. So, you know, mentioning what you did do well, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things you feel like you did, or either starting off or still do now, that kind of hindered you know, either advancing quicker or better sales or anything like that? Um, hindered? I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I, I don't know exactly what I may have done wrong. What I did do right, Jordan, was I, I know how to establish relationships. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's taken me, you know, a long, a long ways. I'm, I'm very empathetic with the people I meet with, and, and I give them a, a, a sort of comfort when it comes to the service that I feel not many of my peers have, and that's why they don't stay in this industry as, as I have. Okay. You know, speaking of, like, you know, your peers, they haven't been able to maintain those customer relationships. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you can, like, a trend that you've seen that people do besides, you know, not maintaining the relationships? Um, no, not that I can really put my finger on. I mean, I feel like what has made me more outstanding than my peers is probably the opportunity of, of working with a great role model. Mm -hmm. um, when I started in this business, I thought it was, it was really hard for me to um, really sell this service to a family. I wasn't very comfortable with it. And, and I felt like it was such a sad way to make business. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, you know, my manager at the time saw great potential in me, and he gave me, you know, a few extra attention um, to help me out. And because of him, I mean, I'm so successful today. I, I saw that 
instead of seeing it as such a sad and morbid industry where I'd be profiting on people being upset, I saw it in a way where I'd be helping people and helping them make conscious you know, choices on, on a good plan for them. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, that's kind of the way I look at y'all's company. But uh, you mentioned you know, being uncomfortable at first selling. That's probably one of the things we struggle with the most is you know, kind of getting out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. and really putting myself out there because I've never really been able to do that at this point in my life. Yeah. So that's something I know I need to work on. But it is good to hear that other people do have that same problem. Yeah, well, you know, I feel there's always room, there's always room for improvement. So if you're willing, if you're willing to work for it, then I can definitely see some improvement. As you know. And you know, you mentioned you know you had a role model mm -hmm. kind of as you were coming out. I'm looking, as I mentioned in our previous phone call, I'm looking for someone who can really help guide me along the way and help me break that uncomfort like comfort zone. Okay. And I was, you know, after this phone call, I really feel sold that you know you're the guy I want help you know mentor me along in my okay path. wow well that's that's pretty flattering um why why do you think i'm the guy for you i mean you've you know you've been with one company it wasn't necessarily the i guess sexy pick you could say the least <laughs> yeah so i agree with that you you do got out of your comfort zone yeah and it seems like you've done a pretty good job of doing that and i need to get out of my comfort zone if i want to be successful so modeling myself after someone who's already done what I want to do, I feel like can only help me. Okay. Um, I agree with that. Josh was a great mentor for me. Um, and he really helped me, you know, be, become successful. So, I mean, helping you out would be, you know, great. Um, I, I would really want to do that. Um, so, what is it that you need? I just send you tips. Or questions that you have, or um, how does that work? Are you sending you an email? Or? I mean, that is definitely part of it, and I would like to meet on a fairly regular basis, depending on your schedule, but we can work that out okay. at a later time. Um, as far as, you're familiar with the program, obviously, but as far as the program goes, mm -hmm. we are asked for a sponsorship from our mentor. Oh, okay. Now, when I say sponsorship, I, again, I don't like bringing it up. Because I want don't want you to write it wrong idea. Okay. I'm here for this reason, but it is a two hundred fifty dollars sponsorship. Oh. And it goes towards, okay. but that does go towards our jackets. Okay. Is that that jacket you're wearing right right there? Um. How can you see me wrong? Oh. Okay. Is it the jacket that I saw people wearing at GNN? Yeah, it's the one with the patch, and it's you know from Brooks Brothers, so it's a high quality jacket. Yeah, it's, it looked pretty nice. Yeah, and it's not, uh, it's not like I'm getting the money. It's mm -hmm. going, you know, towards the program to help pay for the jacket. Okay. Um, that's kind of steep, though, isn't it? Don't you think? It's, I mean, yeah, 250 it, it is kind of steep, but it's, look at it as an investment on your part. Mm -hmm. You're investing in a student who does want to, you know, be like you and pursue a career interest, and you'd be spending less money on me over an extended period of time and want to interview with somebody who may not necessarily look interested in your field of work just okay. to do their job. Alrighty. Um, you know what, Jordan? I think, I think we can do that. You know, you seem like a stand-up guy and, and I'd be willing to help you out. You know, I, I really was impressed by you at G&I and, I, and um, I, think, I think we should do that. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's great. I'm really glad that you want to be my mentor. So what are the next steps to, uh, to doing this? What's, what's next? Uh, as far as, you know, payment goes, mm -hmm. uh, I just have to go through Salesforce and I'll block, send you the link for payment. But as far okay. as next, um, if you have a little bit of time now, uh, we can set up a time where we meet, you know, once or twice a month, either via Skype or over the phone like we are now. Okay. And just kind of go over anything I'm struggling with, some of the goals I may want to achieve, and just kind of track my progress and give me any kind of advice that you could have to get to reach my ultimate goals. All right. Um, well, yeah. I'm, you know, like I said on the phone, I'm a very flexible guy. Let's meet. Um, let's 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 schedule a phone call. You know, next week. Does that sound good? Yeah. Uh, 
what day works for you? Uh, Tuesday would be perfect. I'm not that busy. Uh, Tuesday morning, afternoon, what's good for you? Uh, let's do it. Crack and Let's do eight in the morning. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right, Jordan. Thank you so much. All right. Hey, again, thanks a lot for your time and just being a mentor. I'm really excited. To, oh, of course. Just know you a little bit better. Yeah, Jordan. Thank you. All right. All right, man. That was good.